Hi, how you doing today? Thanks for joining me. In this video today, what I'm going to talk about is an open circuit test on a transformer. So as the name indicates, we are going to leave the secondary side of our transformer open circuited so that we don't end up with any secondary current. Because as soon as we have secondary current on our secondary, it immediately starts to increase the value of primary current on our transformer through transformer action. Now, what we want to do is connect the primary side of our transformer into a voltage supply. In this case, we're going to use our rated voltage. But before we do that, what we want to put into our circuit is a watt meter. Because primarily what we want to read with an open circuit test is we use it for core losses. What type of losses are we going to have in an open circuit test? Well, as soon as that magnetic field is established by our exciting current, because as soon as we actually connect this into a voltage supply with no secondary load, the only type of current we're actually going to see is exciting current. That exciting current builds up our magnetic field in the core of our transformer. And because we have a magnetic field in the core of our transformer, we end up with core losses, which consist of we have our hysteresis losses, which is that magnetic flipping of those domains inside the core, which gives us energy loss through heat. We have our little circulating eddy currents, which build up because we have a magnetic field interacting with a conductive core. Okay? And we also have our flux leakage losses. Okay? I know that I'm going to have magnetic fields building up around our coils. Some of that magnetic energy is going to be lost in the air. There are better cores that we can use than our core type transformer that we have shown here. Um, but that's just to increase efficiency. You still have these losses in really any type of transformer. We can just minimize them a little bit. Now, before we put this onto our applied voltage, we want to put a watt meter in here. So a watt meter is just simply an ammeter and a voltmeter. Our ammeter is connected in series and our voltmeter is connected in parallel. But it's kind of all one thing. There's our watt meter. Okay, and to finish that off, we're going to connect this up to now our circuit. So immediately when we do that, we should see some value of current flowing in the primary. That is what we call our exciting current. And again, that exciting current is what's there to build up the magnetic fields, which inevitably gives us also losses. But that's what we want to check in this transformer. Okay, we want to check what are the core losses inside this transformer. Now, one thing to remember, core losses, those are not dictated by loading, unloading our transformer. So as the current goes up in the secondary through transformer action, it will increase the current on our primary as well. That does not affect core losses. Core losses are steady throughout. Okay, copper losses are affected by increased decreasing load, but not our physical core losses. The only thing that will affect our core losses, core losses, are affected, sorry for the squeak, by applied voltage. That's a loud marker. Okay, so hopefully this has helped, uh, and hopefully we'll see you next time. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.